Okay, really almost finished this specimen paper. So if you've understood everything up to now, it's going to stand you in really good stead for the real one. Because the people that write your real paper are also the people that wrote this exam paper. Okay, so I've slightly chopped and changed it so I could fit it onto this page, but I've got the graph here, and that's for the hiring out road bikes and mounted bikes. And the cost for hiring out a road bike, so this graph here is the cost for a road bike. And we've got to find the correct formula. Well, there's two bits of information we can find that. The start of this graph down here starts at 5. And the step each time, so every time you go one day across, it goes from 5 to 15. So it's going plus 10, isn't it? And then another day, it goes from 15 up to 25, which is another plus 10. So the step each time is 10. So very much like the sequences, the jump or the step goes to next to the letter and the start is the bit you add or subtract on the side, on the end. So the formula here is 10D plus 5. Step of 10 plus the starting position of 5. 10D plus 5. That will get you a mark for picking that right one. The cost of hiring a mountain bike is given by this. So if that was for a road bike up here, this is for the mountain bike. Now to help us, that means that the mountain bike starts at paying £15, but this time the step every day is only £5, so it's kind of it's, it's opposite way around. This one up here for the road bike, you started at 5 and it went and jumped up 10 every day. Every day the cost was £10 more. Okay. Now this time you start slightly higher, you start at £15, but you step up £5 per day. So let's have a look, we want to find out whether the mountain bike, uh, it wants to hire a mountain bike, so he wants to find out whether it's going to always cost more or it's going to cost less or whatever. So let's plot this, let's plot this in pink. So it's going to start at 15 and every day it goes up £5, like this. So every day, the jump up is 5. So let's join that with a nice straight line. And let's label that. So this was for a, a mountain bike. Okay? Well, he thinks that a mountain bike will always cost more. And it's not true. Okay? Because you can see after two days, at two days they cost the same. And after two days, the graph of the mountain bike is below the road bike. So it means it's going to cost less. He thinks a mountain bike will always cost more to hire than a road bike. No. Explain your answer. Well, after two days, after two days, the mountain bike will be cheaper than the road bike. Than the road bike. How else do we also know? You could have also said something. The mountain graph. You could have said the mountain graph doesn't always stay above the road bike. The mountain graph does not always stay above the road graph. So if it was always more expensive, this pink line would always be above the, um, the black line for the road. But it's not. It crosses and at some point it says, starts off more expensive, but after two days, any days for three or more onwards, it's actually cheaper. Okay? Check you understand this. This idea of step and start was very similar to the sequence idea. It's a really, really important idea.